This woman will laugh with you one day, two days, realize this is not what I need and move on and dump you and leave you. Hi, my YouTube family. Welcome on set again today. Today we are going to have a discussion. Actually, it's a discussion that I felt that we needed to just briefly discuss or bring into our attention, especially us who are in the space of divorced and now you're starting life again or uh, you're planning whichever space you find yourself into in the life after the divorce. So I uh, will entitle this topic of today, there's a God of a second chance. And I will also base this discussion in line with encouragement, but that is not where exactly we are headed. But it is also an encouragement to tell you that there is indeed a God of a second chance. There is good in the future. There is good in the present, actually, and in the future. So today I felt that we needed to have this brief and short discussion in line with relationships. Now that you are out of your first relationship or even your second, and now you're finding your, yourself in another space of being single, and you want to date again. You want, actually, you don't. Nobody wants to be alone in real sense. So you want to be in the dating scene again, not even dating. Maybe you have even identified somebody who can make you happy in both sides. Whether it's a man, you have found a lady who you feel you're compatible with. The girl has found a man who is actually making her very happy. And now, coming from where you're coming from, you just divorced. It was maybe a messy divorce. It was a nasty divorce. I mean, there is nothing good that came out of it. Otherwise, you would not be divorced. You would not be separated. You would not have parted ways. But actually, something in real sense happened, which is not nice. Or uh, you could not make it. You could not go another mile. You could not go another year, another month together. Now that you're in this space of now starting to date again, you find yourself thinking that uh, I gave myself too much in this previous marriage. Maybe I was funding this marriage, not only funding that one spouse took advantage of the situation of me funding the relationship or the other person took advantage of not doing anything because in real sense, this party, me or the other party was giving, was providing. So you wind up realizing that if, if this was a mistake that I made, this is a mistake that I was giving too much into this relationship. And this is in line with finances. So in my next life or in my next relationship, I am not going to agree again to fund the relationship or even partner to share in the expenses. I want now a man to give me, I want a man to take care of me. Even if I'm getting, even if I have what I have, I am not planning to share because I feel this was the mistake I did in my previous relationship. Now, the reason why I felt we needed to have this discussion is because I feel this is not right. And actually this is not fair. Because you're coming in into a relationship, it's not like uh, this person cannot provide. Yes, he can provide. And maybe he's more of a gentleman than, than your past or your previous. Maybe even your previous was a narcissist in its full definition. But now you have found this gentleman, this nice loving man, who, yes, he doesn't have a problem in providing, but you're hell-bent on not doing anything, meeting him along the way. Even when you can provide you don't want to provide because you feel it was a mistake you did in your past. So you will realize that you're setting yourself to fail as a woman. Even as a man, you will realize that in your previous relationship, you loved this woman too much. You gave her everything. You showed her compassion. You gave your whole self to this woman. You showed her the true definition of love, but she winded up cheating on you. She winded up doing this and that, and that is why now you're divorced on this is the, why you parted ways. So you feel in your next relationship, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have loved this woman or showed her this much love. So in my next relationship, in my next phase in life, I am not going to do this. So you will realize both parties, the man and the woman, you're setting yourself to fail. 
Because if you are not ready to give your whole self into this relationship, this relationship has failed before it started. Because remember, this woman, any woman, and we have talked about the God nature, the spiritual and the physical creation of the male and the female. Who is the woman? Who is the man, both spiritually and physically? You will realize that the woman cannot do without love. The woman will not be in a relationship where she's not experiencing love. And she will know when it's being given halfway. And actually now she will leave you to really go find love in its fullness. And now you woman, in the, on the other hand, the man knows what she's supposed to be getting in this relationship. Be it submission, be it giving yourself as a woman to this man. If you're going there halfway, he's going to dump you and go get a woman who is ready to give her whole self to, to, to him. So whatever decisions that you're making and saying that in my next life i am not going to do this i'm not going to do that i'm not going to waste my time in doing this again if you're going to love me you're going to love me as i am and you're not even as you are because you have decided to cut in half of what you are giving in your past relationship that relationship will not work so for me i felt that it's important that if you have made a choice to be in a relationship again, to even drive this relationship even into marriage again. Then you need to make that choice that I am going into this relationship wholeheartedly to make this man happy. The best way to my knowledge or my capability. And you the man, I am going into this relationship to make this woman happy to my fullest capability. The God way, I have taught in this channel what the man was created to be to a woman, what the woman was created to be to the man. Maybe majority of the things I've taught you did not know, but now this is the time to exercise and to put them into practice. That I am not now going into any other relationship in foolishness, in stupidity, with terms and conditions. I am going into a relationship that I have made a choice and a decision and a sound one for that matter to make my partner happy and for this partner also to make my partner happy. Because now if you're free and open towards each other, and remember, we are not young now anymore. Those who are coming out of first marriages or second or third, they are no longer young. You're all mature. You all know what you want. So from the onset of this relationship, you need to put to table what you want and what you're expecting and what you need in this phase. And you realize like those people who are in their third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, it doesn't matter which age you are in. What you need is compassion. What you need is friendship. You're not asking for much. Some of us are not even getting back into relationship to conceive and have children. Some of us, yes, they don't mind even at our age to have children. But at the same time, you're not even going into those relationships to have children. You're going to have a long life partner to enjoy the rest of your life with. You want companionship. You want friendship. You want whatever else love can bring on board. Whatever else that friendship can bring, you know? trust you're not in a space or in an age where you're experimenting those times are gone and even if they're still there you don't have that time to experiment or to hurt people that that you're not in that age of childishness so when you're going into your next life you're going to both both of you to make each other happy so i feel it is not right for you to be in your second or third marriage and you're going there with terms and conditions that I'm not going to do what I did in my previous relationship. I will not give my whole self to this man. I will not do this. I will not do that. I will not. Then why? 
Why are you making this choice to be in a relationship to make a man more miserable than he was in his previous also relationship? Why you as a man are you making a choice and a decision to be in another relationship yet you have already made your decision that you're not going to be anything. You're actually even what you were in your previous relationship you have cut it by half. And now you are assuming that this woman will take your, your quarter and be happy and live and abide with it. It's not going to happen. This woman will laugh with you one day, two days, realize this is not what I need and move on and dump you and leave you. So as we are making these choices of going back into the dating scene, may we be genuine at it. May we be honest at it. May we lay our cards on the table. This is me. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. Do you think we can? You know? And I am ready to make you happy the way I know how best. And the same thing happens to the man. But if you're not going to get into a relationship in pure honesty, then there is no need of hurting each other all over again. That relationship will not work. That relationship was set to fail from the start. And I am sure this is not what either of you want or need. So before you get yourself into another relationship, first and foremost, it's very important to pray about it. Another thing, it's very important to find out the God will in that relationship. And I have come to realize that sometimes you may not see the God will into a particular relationship, but actually it is God's will if you know and you learn how to listen to the voice of God and to trust him that when I pray, I'm telling God, I don't need a counterfeit. I don't need another failure. I don't need another narcissist. I don't need another abuser. I don't need another man who is a serial cheater. I want a genuine man as you predestined Abba Father from the foundations of the earth. I need a genuine wife as you predestined for me from the foundations of the earth in Christ Jesus. Father God, I do not want another mistake. And I'm also not planning to rush into it. I will trust you that you will bring the one who is meant for me. And from now the prayer and now you get into the dating world. You, you start, you don't rush into but you learn to listen to what God has to say about that person. And the minute sometimes you even put to test, you tell God you don't tell the person. You tell God, I want to be sure, for sure, 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 if this is the person. God, I want to see this and this and this and this. And I'm telling you, God is very faithful. You'll be shocked that he can bring all that which you had a discussion with to the latter, to the last, to prove that for sure this is the person for you. You see, and now when you meet that particular match, just make a choice. Just make a decision to make each other happy. Make a choice and a decision that I am in this relationship and I'm giving it my all. If in my past relationship I felt like I gave 80%, this one, I am giving it 100%. If I feel in my past relationship I give 100%, this one I'm giving it 1,000 a, a plus, 500 plus, you know? Whatever I didn't know in my past relationship, with the knowledge and the wisdom and in the revelation of what I have learned, now I am going to give it 100% of what I have learned. I'm not leaving anything behind. And that relationship, you realize that it is set to succeed. So let us not go into our next life with ultimatums. I mean, this relationship with ultimatums, it is either this or not. Yeah, fine. I will take this man with an ultimatum you have to provide for me. Then he will be nothing but a provider for you. Yes, he will give you everything, but there will be no love. Because even him, he will realize you're just in there for money. So why should he love you? He will now start looking for somebody who can genuinely love him with the money or without. So when we are taking this next step, this bold next step, let us be open with each other. Let us be honest with each other. Let us go in with a choice decision that this is exactly what I want because if this is not what you want then don't hurt somebody in the process 
don't hurt another party and you know for sure you're not ready for it. First, make sure you have healed from your past relationship. Then now be ready for this next relationship and give it your all. That is what I felt today that we needed to have a discussion about because I have felt that in this next phase in life, you are bound to make other mistakes again. You are bound to make another mistake, even maybe worse than what happened in your past. Because if you are deciding that in your past you gave 50% and it failed, how about this one you are giving 20%? Do you think it's going to work? Just because you have said, I learned. You have learned from your past. Your past is not your present, neither will it be your future. So do not assume that the way your wife behaved in your previous marriage, this woman will be exactly that. So do not say because my other wife cheated on me, even this one is prone to cheating, so I am withholding this and that and that. The same thing, because I was married to a narcissist, this does not mean that now my present will be another narcissist. So I'm withholding everything I gave the narcissist. My future is not going to have a narcissist. We are different. My past is not my present, neither my future. So whoever I am going to date now is not a replica, is not a photocopy, a duplicate of my past. It's not going to be. And trust God that that is not the case. And now you are more careful and you are more mature now to make the choice decision that where I am getting us, I am seeing what I did not see. And if I see a loving man, if I see a loving wife, I see a wife that is submissive even without being asked. I see a loving man who is giving me all the love that I need, desire, things that I'd never even imagined. I always say, count your blessings. Name them one by one. Thank God that finally you have found what you used to hear others say or speak about. Thank God and thank God and continue thanking God, not only thanking God, but thanking God in your actions towards this partner. Because in thanksgiving, it's not only kneeling down and telling God thank you. It's appreciating what God has already presented to you. So even in this second relationship, Learn to thank God in that relationship by virtue of how you're treating this new partner in your life. Thank God in that relationship. In everything you're doing to that partner, let it be a thanksgiving to God, meaning that this relationship will work because it will be a thanksgiving to God. Every single day, every single second you're spending with this new partner, it is a thanksgiving to God. Thanksgiving meaning what? You're appreciating him every second. And if you're appreciating this partner and he's appreciating you and in everything he set to do and you are set to do is in thanksgiving to God because this is a blessing God has just given me. This is a second chance that God has given me. Then this relationship is bound to succeed. Let us not get ourselves into a second relationship if we are not ready. If we, at the back of our mind, maybe we have not healed. That's why we are setting ultimatums. That's why we are cautious. That's why we are, we ha we are withdrawn. We have withdrawn. You want to be in a relationship and you have already withdrawn before you even started it. So why get into that relationship? In all matters pertaining to a relationship, Give 100%. What you did not do in your past relationship, do it in this relationship. Be it cooking, experiment, do even new things that you never cooked in your past relationship. Be it the bedroom matters, even what you did not practice and now you know about it. Do it, present it. Learn each other. Learn what you like and he doesn't like. Learn to give your best. Learn to complement each other. Learn to love each other. And remember what I said about loving. The man loves, the woman becomes. Become the 100% of the love that this man is flooding you with. And this relationship will work. 
and you will forget the hurts of the past, the pain of the past. And actually, it will be an additional healing into your life. So I felt it's important that we have this small and brief discussion so that those who are embarking on the second journey in their life and taking up new partners in their lives, you do not again get into a relationship from a wrong footing because of the choices and the decisions you have made while you are taking this second. I even don't know whether you have made a choice. You are really not even made a choice. You have not even decided. But now you have decided to hurt somebody. Because if this is your mindset when you're getting yourself into this relationship, then you are actually now getting into a relationship to hurt somebody else. Or for somebody else to give 100% when you're giving 10%. Because of your insecurities. Because you are hurt in your past relation, meaning then you're not healed. You need to first heal before now you decide to get into another relationship. So for both divides, for both sides, the male and the female, you need to make a solid decision that actually this is what I want to get myself into. Don't get yourself into a relationship if you're not ready, if you have not healed, yeah, and if you're not willing to give 100% of yourself and cultivate in knowledge, cultivate in wisdom. Learn, first try and understand who you really are spiritually and physically, as I always say, who the man is spiritually and physically. What this union, this relationship we are undertaking, it's all about. Even before the creator, why was it created? So that you can be able to give the 100% that is needed spiritually and physically. And also so that the blessings of God can begin to be seen and manifested in this new relationship. So I hope I have helped or encouraged or assisted. Maybe there was somebody who was in that space and you feel I don't want to be alone and you feel that you feel you need somebody in your life, but at the same time you have these conditions. At the same time you're thinking, oh, I gave too much in my previous relationship. That was a mistake. I'm not doing it again. So if you're not doing it again, don't hurt somebody else. Don't get involved with somebody else. Don't go get into a relationship where your partner is giving 100% and you have already made a decision you're not doing it. Don't do it. Don't hurt somebody else. It's not really worth it. It's not worth it. So sit back until you're healed. Then you can be able to take up that journey again. Wholeheartedly. Willingly. By making a choice decision. That I am going in to make sure he's happy. And he is also coming into your life to make sure that you're happy. Both of you to be happy. Because by the end of the day, if you're happy, then the relationship will stay. The relationship will not end. It will not be another mistake. It will not be another failed relationship or marriage. And until next time, keep subscribing for the new ones. Keep sharing, liking. Please watch, 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 watch. Comment. I would love to read your comments. Even those ones, are, the ones that are sent on the side chat on my phone, I still read and I respond. So support me by watching, sharing, liking, yeah? And the new subscribers, kindly subscribe and welcome to the family. And until next time, God's blessings.